YouTube, I am back with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe for more 180 way content. If you're returning back to my channel, make sure you like the video. And if you're new, you like my video too. That definitely helps out. But today's video is really a subscriber based question. I hopefully they're they're subscribed. But like this is like really a subscriber question. He asked me on Snapchat. Snapchat is really like my guys who really rock for me at. So they're like, you know what I'm saying? They ask me questions, they ask me like things I do, like products and stuff like that. So if you are interested or you do want to ask me questions, add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is gonna be somewhere on there on the screen. But I really want to throw up the photo because guy Justin. Let me see, let's see, let's see. Uh just shout out to Justin Springer. He asked me this, I'm gonna throw it out there. He asked me, bro, how do you stay consistent with your waves? So I feel like this was a really, really good question just because like I've been waving for a minute, like I've been having waves for a minute. Like you looked at my channel like a long, long time ago, even before that I had waves. And I think one of the main things that keeps me consistent on my wave journey is really just um, understanding like getting a cut, you know what I'm saying? Having a good cut at the end of the week or looking forward to getting your haircut is actually nice. Like I'm actually woofing right now, but just knowing that like because I'm up to date on my routine, I'm up to date on like the cuts I like, the face I like, and I, you know, I like 180 waves. It's like, it's a lot easier to be consistent that way. Like when you're working with a good barber or you know when you get your cut by your barber, it's gonna be a fire cut. It just gives you more added confidence. Like knowing like, okay, when I get the, when I pay for this cut, sit in the chair, I'm gonna come out like fly. You know what I mean? I'm gonna come out nice. So just knowing that really helps me be like motivated, but just being consistent, um, like how my waves are like normally consistent, like normally like really wavy. It's just like just wearing my like wearing my do rag, um, brushing a lot, mirror brushing, and then also like having a YouTube channel like you guys like even on Snapchat, like you guys watch my videos. That definitely just motivates me. So that helps out a lot. But if you don't have a YouTube channel or you don't make videos, uh, I would say just the reaction from people too. Like, I don't know if it's like, if it's a girl that I like, or you know what I'm saying? If it's like, if I'm somewhere new, just kind of like people reaction when I get a new, like a fresh cut, like a, like my haircut looking crazy, like looking good. That keeps me motivated, man. So it's just like having a good cut and then maintaining my routine and my, like my, uh, my process. It just, it just, it makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's not really like a rush or it's not like, you're not trying to show off or anything, but it just makes you feel good to know that like this is something that you're good at. So waves are just something that I'm good at. It's something that I like to do. And that's how I express myself too. So it's just like they're, they're hair all different types of haircuts, all different types of hair types. But like just knowing like I got waves, it's like I'm a part of a community. Like it's other people who got waves, you know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, I have my, my style and I have my way of doing it. So. Just having that, just knowing that like, you know, your waves are yours, like how you style them, how you do it, is your unique look. So you can become known for that. Like you'll become known for waves. Like for me, I make wave content. Like people watch me for waves. So I don't know, it's just like, it's like a, it's a good thing to have. It's a good thing to be known for it. And it's like a, such a clean look. And, you know, girls appreciate it. You know, everybody, other races appreciate it too. Like some people even ask me from different races that ask me like, how to get my hair like that? Or like, your hair looks different. So just knowing that like I stand out a little bit, I don't know, it's just nice, it's nice. You know what I mean? It's like an added bonus. And then two, um, another thing that helps me be consistent is knowing that like, I don't have to go out and buy stuff. Like I don't have to go out necessarily and like buy like an outfit or I don't have to buy something like you know, extremely extravagant. Like waves are really simple, but it's still like a style. You know what I mean? And people is people are gonna see it. People are gonna notice. So it's just something little about my day, like a little like routine in my day or my night routine or whatever like that. It just helps me stand out. So it's like I don't have to buy like necessarily like huge extravagant things. It's just waves, it's just hair. And it's just like it's a way you can express yourself. So that's how I look at it. But um, but for you, I think like if you are looking to become more consistent in your wave routine, um, you know, just just get different products. You know what I'm saying? Get like uh, the Torino Pro wave, wave brush definitely helped me out. This was something that also motivated me because the brush was a it was a little bit. I was kind of on the fence of buying like a, a wave brush that was like a little bit better. But um, just using good products definitely helped me out too. Like understanding that like. 
I'm going to see results and it's going to make my process easier. You know what I mean? I don't have to struggle. I don't have to worry about like forks too much with a curved brush. So that definitely helped me out too. And then just being uh, consistent, you know, trying to get better, like improve, seeing other people like either on TikTok or seeing them on Instagram. Like I may not want to do waves, for example. Like I might want to like, I don't know, but I'll see somebody who has really, really good waves. Or people on YouTube, I see them like, I'm like, dang man, they, they always look good. It just kind of be like, I can get my ways like that too. Or like, I, I sometimes I compete, or I'm like, you know, I, I can I can beat them in a wave competition or something like that. Like I just kind of think of it that way. So it just helps out just being consistent on that. And uh, yeah, but more than anything, I think for me personally, it's like the reaction. I think the reaction is like something that makes it unique, like in public, like showing your ways off or just kind of like having them out. And uh, in the sun, it just, the reaction is always good. It's always a good feeling knowing that, you know, this is my hair and <laughs> people are like, it's a part of me, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm be consistent. And then, um, cause I've been doing it so long, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else for you. Uh, another thing too, yeah, and I, I think like on social media, showing your waves on social media, I would say that too, like if you are, I'm, you, I'm pretty sure you're on social media. So if like you're on Snapchat, I know you're on Snapchat. Show your, show your cutoff on, um, on Snapchat. Like show your waves. Show the world how good your waves are. Or show the journey. Like document it. And I think that's something that like showing your friends. Like you know, here are my waves. This is something that like it's a part of me. This is something I'm going after. And it's a community. You know what I mean? So it's just like showing. My waves online definitely has made me more consistent with it and has made me better and has made me grow. So, yeah, that's something I would recommend to you. Like, if you are getting into it or you want to become better at it, is document the process because people are going to notice, like, hey, like, his waves are, didn't really look like that like three months ago, but now they're really, really good. And then, you know, I like the way they look. You know, people are going to see, like, hey, this is something nice. Um, this is a nice look for you. So I think that's something that you want to do if you are getting into ways is just like document the process and then just show yourself, expressing yourself. You know, that's really what ways are. And that's why I, like I make videos and I, I do it. So that helps me become consistent with it. But yeah, I just I thought that was a really good question. No one has really ever asked me that, which because I've been doing with videos for so long. But it was a really good question because. You know, I've been doing it and I just didn't really realize how long I was doing it. I just was expressing myself. So, yeah, I think that will be my like motivation and really the reason why I do it. So hopefully this answers your question. Uh, thanks so much for asking. And if you do have any questions you do want to ask me, you can ask me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is burritos or die. It will be down in the description or the screen or whatever like that. Uh, I made it when I was young, so don't worry about it. But yeah add me on there and ask me but yeah i appreciate the question and hopefully i'll get more but thank you so much for watching if you like the video like the video give it a big thumbs up have any questions leave a comment in the comment box below and uh yeah subscribe to the channel for more content and i'll be back